Hello our artsy fartsy friends. We are going to show you how we create one of our gorgeous angel paintings. We try to make it so that we have a nice uh, ethereal glow around it and um, we're gonna we're gonna use a mixture of paints of different colors of purples that we've created. Uh, we mix all of our paints with just Floetrol and water. We do one to one and a half of the Floetrol to paint depending on the brand. And then we just add um, water until we get a nice thin consistency. Uh, we have found that's the key to get nice cells and pearls with just Floetrol and water when you're doing a Dutch style painting, which is what we're going to do. Um, if the paint's nice and thin. You want to just be run it off like that. So we're gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna cover the painting when I'm out the camera and then we're gonna show you how we get it done. So I'm just pouring my background just gonna it's a mix of uh metallic white pearl white and uh regular white I guess and some uh, Fogart holographic glitter, uh, which we put in everything in. Yeah, the Fogart uh, wicker white enamels and the Fogart metallic pearl white mixed together with a little bit of the holographic glitter, which we use in pretty much everything, like I said. So let me see if I can cover this. I don't think I need enough white. If you hear any music in the background, we do not own the rights to it. We're just listening to our little playlist. Corners, check your edges. Check my back edge to make sure I can get that one. Looks good. So, like I said, we mix our paints really thin for this because. We want all the different layers to show through. So first we're going to give it a nice torch because these are freshly mixed paints and we don't want air bubbles. We can help it. I don't know if I, I haven't seen this done before in this particular way. Um, if you know somebody who's done this, please link me in. Let me know. I would love to see some other versions. That would be great. Okay, so I like to start with the gold. Have that pushed out. So we're basically going to do a Y. A little puddle. And a line. And a line and a puddle. A little puddle and a line and a puddle. And that's our angel. Okay, so this is um, a folk art natural glow. It's going to give a little bit of a green halo to it. Um, glow in the dark. You won't really see much of anything in the painting when we blow it out. It'll just be a drop of light. Okay, and I like to kind of build with some dark I 
Um, I think this is two different kinds of full dark purple, if I'm not mistaken. Same with this. This is a uh, iris mixed with the white. And then we have this is extreme purple glitter. more of a grapier purple. And then this is glow in the dark purple that Sean custom made for me. This is awesome. That was a combination of the glow blue and the glow pink. Because we couldn't find purple. I'm just going to jizzle some white in here. And so there's enough paint on here that I, I don't think a flow is needed. I find it dulls the colors when, when I do this. So we're not going to flood it. We're just going to roll it out and see what happens. Now, I've done about nine of ten of these this week. And I've loved every one. Now watch me totally screw this up on camera. Let's do it. Is that a touchdown? A touchdown. Nope, that's white paint. Is that from underneath? <laughs> Nancy can fix just about any problem. We call her the doctor. Well, that's a nice way of saying it. Low just till I get like the shape that I want. And then I'll start blowing the paint. So I'm having that gold on the bottom, and you can see that start to peek through when the pearls show up. All right, now we go hide. Me and me. Right off there. Okay, now here's where 
Sean would say, that's great, Nancy. Leave it alone. Yep, we're done. But Nancy's going to do what? Fiddle. I'm going to fiddle. All right, so I least have this pretty much on its own. Now I like to make it a little flowy looking. I don't know if you can see how the gold just highlights everything. I give her a tight waist line, right, Nancy? And last little thing for the torch. I'm my paintbrush for the only thing I ever use a paintbrush for. That part. The only time I ever use a paintbrush. See those great pearls we're getting through that gold? No oil at all. Just Fotron water. How do you know what to do when you're fiddling with it? Uh, gut. I just think something belongs here pretty. <coughs> and uh, I try to find a flow so this line of purple here if I can drag that in here it breaks it up a little bit so we don't have two like boom broken up and I think we are probably good um so I'm going to torch it now, if I can find it. I just filled it. Ah, you are behind. Okay, ready? Tom, do you want to get in on this pose? Or? Um, yeah, start from the bottom and work your way up, please. You got it? Yep, I'm good to go. So why do you like the uh, the lacing? Why do you like the? I like the little. I like this. It helps the uh, pearls to bloom, but I like the delicateness because when you torch it, all the layers of color sort of pop through, and you don't. So if you focus on this area here, that looks like it a lot of detail, but if it's very stark. So if I want to break it up, I can just pop it with the, I like to do with the angels sort of around the edges more than uh, the center because like I said, I'm going for a very angelic, ethereal, uh, vapor-like 
look. See that color popping up? You don't even know it's there until you hit it with the torch. And you really want to torch everything. Can you move your hand so we can see what you were just doing? Really oh, right down here. Okay. You really want to kind of torch it anyways, um, at least lightly after you do a Dutch because it does get a lot of air bubbles. Um, but I sort of paint with it. Make it a little bit more, like I said, lacy and delicate. Breaks it up. What would you say your recipe is for the uh, the paints that you use? Um, well, Sean and I, when we mix our paints, um, it really depends on the paint. Uh, we use, if you want to just show a little bit, this is a sampling. Uh, so we Americana, we get a little apple barrel, never white, never apple barrel white, sorry, apple barrel cracks. Um, but yeah, I mean, other other colors are great with apple barrel. We love deco art. We love folk art. Uh, this is the best product I've ever bought on the market. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the Extreme Glitter Hologram by Folk Art. And like Frank's Red Hot Sauce, we put that. And we're, no, I, I'm not paid by them. But yeah, <laughs> we put that in everything. So... Uh, the recipe depends on the paints. Uh, we'll start off mixing a color and then we'll usually double it with the Floetrol and uh, mix it again and see where the thickness in, add a little water. Some paints come thicker than others. Yes, yeah, so you need to add more water. Like metallics are usually pretty thick and you need to put more water in with them and they, act, they react great. As you can see. I noticed when I was mixing the Glow Purple, the Glow Blue was a lot thicker than the Glow Pink, even though they're the same brand. It's kind of inconsistent that way. Yeah. Is it more important to think about the final product, the consistency of what you're doing? Yes. I mean, you have to have, you know, we have mixed all of these colors, and we had to have them basically the same consistency, or we would have gotten no flow on the canvas with the hairdryer. So, uh, with the Dutch, and if you want to get a lot of these pearls and these lacings to happen, um, you know, if you look in here in the fine, fine details, the gold and the purple is all starting to pop up in through here. That's just flow trial and water. Uh, we used to be junkies of the silicone oil and then the dimethicanol. Uh, and now I find that when we use the oils, it's far too busy for my liking. I much prefer, and I think Sean does as well. The ability to get either the delicate lacing or the big pearls, depending on the look you're going for. Right. So we've already posted three uh, previously created angels in, a, uh, in our event for our virtual holiday party. Woohoo! And art show. Yep, we're going to show paintings, we're going to sell paintings, um, you're going to be able to pay through PayPal or Venmo or Zelle, uh, and then um, we're going to make some drinks and we're going to make some foods. We'll be posting the uh, recipes and what you'll need if you want to cook along with us. Uh, very quick stuff, no worries, you can get it ready in advance and we'll tell you when to put it in the oven. Um, it should be a good time. We'll sing some carols and have some fun. You know, if we can't be together. Sing some carols? Eh. Maybe. Uh, can we play some carols? Maybe. Some... If somebody sends in a video of themselves singing an entire Christmas carol, we'll send you a free painting. Eight by ten. All yours. There you go. That's, that's a great idea. Maybe we can get someone else to embarrass themselves instead of us. <laughs> that's what I'm all about. Marketing, yeah. baby. Okay. It's beautiful. Did I think you get the, in a good zoomy detail -y? Yeah, in a few different areas. The um do a fly over there. <laughs> the uh the pearls coming up are fantastic. 
the little bits that you added, the lines, mm -hmm. and make it look like it's spreading in a, a lot of different directions. And two different colors in there are going to glow. So uh, we mm. will take photos. So you can see a still photo, and we'll take a still photo of it uh, glowing for you under black light. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll show you the final result. Have a colorful day.